Dear friends, here I would like to share with you this article. We are only asking for what is ours. Dr. Singh say or effort to claim money from Putrajaya. Revenues from oil and gas, uh, Petronas uh, earn, earn. The Petronas uh, yeah, earn at least 100 billion. Billion, uh, from oil and gas uh, from Sarawak. Other taxes collected is 150 to 200 billion. Unaccountable un one, we don't know how much. We, I believe, we, I believe lah. Total one is 300 billion tech revenues collected from Sarawak. So how much does Sarawak get from the Federal Development Fund? 4.5 to 5.8 billion. Right this year, uh, out of 900 billion now, we only got uh, 90 billion, 90 billion, sorry. Yeah. 90 billion, we only got 5.8 billion. So, you can understand how little we get from the federal government all the time since 1963. Alright, Dr. Singh Sarawak says, Sarawak government uh, has been pursuing the matter relentlessly. What for? If there is no result. From 2018 to 2023, yes, they have been pursuing, pursuing relentlessly. But there is no result. So, a wise leader will set the time to accomplish the task or sue the federal governments in court. Right? We have this right to do it. So, they must have the political will. That is the prerequisite of the government to accomplish the task. At least to get back 60 to 70% of the revenues earned from Sarawak. So this one, I, you, you, to deal with this Lan Chai Hu Bao in Chinese, uh, I means carnivals. Uh, to deal with carnivals, we need a gun and fangs that is low and boundary and to be set strictly. If they, if they don't pay us, we sue them in court. That is the only way. Or we use MSC 3 to go to the International Court of Justice for justification. Last year, we see last year, Petronas operational revenue is US dollars 88 billion. Recorded profit 22.5 billion and then equivalence to 90 billion. Out of 90 billion, how much did Sarawak get? Right? Sarawak revenue in 2022 is 11.9 billion. Right, every development fund to us is all from us, and and then we also pay for the development fund of other stakes. Eleven stakes in Malaya, Sabah has the resource more than enough to develop Sarawak uh, to Sabah. So on, so the eleven stakes in Malaya that depends heavily on Sarawak and Sabah oil and gas revenue and other taxes to survive. So to the things I say, ah. Uh, last year, 2022, Petronas dividend payments to federal government is RM50 billion. So, no a cent to be given to Sarwa for this dividend, uh, dividend payment. Imagine. So, 2022, again, new eight, eight new fields, oil fields are discovered in Sarwa waters. This year, six new fields uh discovered in Sarawak waters. So Abanjo finally yeah, has asserted fifty percent ask for fifty percent share from Petronas if they want to drill oil in Sarawak waters from two zero two two onwards. And I am not sure not sure if they can accomplish the task. They can ask for fifty percent a profit share to Sarawak or not. So so um um on lane one uh, oil extraction on lane on sure one hundred percent belong to Sarawak. That has been given back. This right has been given back to us. But most of the oil fields are found in the in, in Sarawak waters. 
that we can only get back 50%. Actually, 100% should be belong to Sarawak. And then from Sarawak, we give, give them the, the, the share. Not they get 50% easily. So 31 MBs are from Sarawak. They want the parliamentary members. They should voice out gallantly without fear to be qualified as MBs. So they should never accept 2024 budget that we cannot do much anymore, do anything, but now never accept budget 2025. If development allocation to Sarwa is not up to 20%, just reject this budget 2025. From 2025 onwards, our MBs from Sarawa should do should, should, should voice up briefly or to be disqualified. We people must be, I think, so, to realize autonomy, Sarawak autonomy in education and health. We need funds, right? So that to get the task accomplished, must set the time or go to court. This we need united and strong Sarawakians to accomplish all this, uh, all this task. Thank you.